Morgan Adams, a normally very unproblematic YouTuber, is facing backlash right now for posting a collab with Trisha Paytas. Not only that, but people are lashing out at other people who are known to be friends with Trisha Paytas. People like Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams. I've got the tea and I'm gonna spill it. Here for you on IO. What is gravy, y'all? You guys are watching Inform Overload on this channel. We do the news, we spill the tea, we keep you entertained while you're at home questioning life. Subscribe and turn on the bell so we get to hang out every day and follow us on social media so we can, you can see pictures of me. We do that. <laughs> That's literally the only reason. <laughs> Morgan Adams is often seen in Shane Dawson's videos. She's Rylan Adams' sister. On April 21st this week, she posted a video called, I wore Trisha Paytas' clothes for a week. Trisha appears in the video and she styles a bunch of outfits for Morgan to wear throughout the week. Shane and Rylan are also in the video and the video shows their reactions to Morgan's outfits. But even though this video concept is pretty like vanilla, there are a lot of people that are not happy with Morgan's decision to collaborate with Trisha Paytas. Ever since Trisha's DID scandal in March where she claimed to have dissociative identity disorder and she called another YouTuber crazy, it's safe to say that people are officially done with Trisha Paytas and her ways. She made several false claims about the disorder and she was accused of mocking people in the DID community. The YouTuber that Trisha called crazy, Chloe Wilkinson, said that the issue drove her to a suicide attempt and she took a prolonged break from social media because of it. So this is some pretty serious stuff. It's clear that Trisha's trolling has gotten out of control and people are finally done with it. And to the YouTube audience, I guess that means that being friends with her and collaborating her means that you're gonna get backlash. In response to all the hate, Morgan Adams posted this on Twitter. From the bottom of my heart, my intention has always been and will always be to make videos to make people laugh and be entertained. I know for a lot of people, this video has crossed a line and I'm truly sorry to anyone who has felt negatively for my actions and I hear you and see you. I will always do my best to take your feedback and show you that I really do care. And I know mental health is so sensitive and personal to every individual, including me. And I'm sorry for my actions affecting you and will take full responsibility for that. And hope to do better for you in the future. Morgan then went on in the same post addressing the claims that she and Trisha were not observing social distancing guidelines and also the claim that she was deleting comments, which she denied. But this apology wasn't enough, at least for some. Here are a few reactions. Baby, we love you and your content, but I cannot support you just ignoring Trisha's actions and continuing to be friends with a toxic troll. Tired of half-ass notes app apologies. Delete the video you should have never made and are still profiting from. You filmed and edited the whole video at your big age of 22 too. You should know better. I'm here to say I don't, we don't accept this. Trish and you are two very different people. I think the reason people were upset is because they didn't want you, Rylan, or anyone to be involved with someone like her after all she's done to hurt other people. It's not your fault, but please choose the right friends. Next, but you are still friends with Trisha? I usually don't judge people for their friends, but being friends with her is being complicit to transphobia, making fun of mental disorders, the spread of coronavirus misinformation, and so much more. There are also a hefty amount of people who defended Morgan and said that no one has the right to tell her who to be friends with. People need to stop dragging Morgan. She's not responsible for Trisha's actions and she apologized on her behalf. Next, Morgan, it's not your fault what other people do wrong. If you were just being a nice friend and trying to create content, I love you and the comments were out of hand. You explained several times that you filmed before her scandal as well. I love you and you are incredible. Will, I agree that Trisha is problematic, but I think people cross a line when they feel they can dictate who people are friends with. You may not agree, but no one has the authority to tell Morgan who she can associate with. People did this to her with Tila and it was ridiculous. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. A lot of boxes of tea. Does tea come in boxes? It could if you order it on Amazon. Here's my take on this. If you're a friend of Trisha Paytas, you probably know a side that most other people don't. The side that isn't on social media, the side that isn't the troll. And that side is probably, shocker, likable. After everything that she's said and done, Shane Dawson, Rylan Adams, and Morgan Adams are good people as well. They're good friends with Trisha and they have been for years. It's pretty much a given by this point. They understand that she banks on controversy and maybe they know something that the YouTube audience doesn't. Maybe this collab with Morgan was a way for Trisha to get back into YouTube's good graces, maybe try to make another video that was less problematic. That being said though, I do get where people are coming from. I don't belong to one of the groups of people that Trisha has insulted or made fun of, but I can empathize with how people feel about her. To trivialize mental health and mental disorders and turn them into nothing more than a way to get on the trending page is like, I mean, it's it's personally not the kind of content that I choose to make. I honestly don't know how Trisha can stomach some of the content that she posts. Like I, I, I don't understand it, but 
yeah, like again, I don't know Trisha personally and I don't know Rylan and Shane and Morgan and so I don't know anything about their friendship so I really can't make a judgment on that. As for the people who are friends with Trisha, do I think that they should be criticized for being friends with her or associating with her? Well, I think that Trisha has a long way to go in order to get back in the internet's good graces and it starts with an apology. I know it kind of sucks to apologize because it just sort of feels like even when you try to be sincere, the internet just doesn't accept your apology. But that apology has to be followed with consistent efforts to be better and be less problematic. And for a long period of time. Remember what happened with PewDiePie? He pretty much could have lost his entire career, but you know, he apologized and then he laid low for a little bit. And then he, all of a sudden, there's that whole sub to PewDiePie thing and people loved him again. But as always, I wanna hear your thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this one with some comment features. Steampunk Ferret said, I'm eating french fries, watching the potato queen who has convinced me I am a potato and I'm now having an existential crisis. But the fries are good. They're always so good, aren't they? Is it possible to have a bad fry? I feel like McDonald's fries are pretty gross when they're like cold and like been in your fridge for three days. But also kind of good still. Seda said, the most excited I get these days is when I watch Charlotte read my favorite comments on previous videos. Oh, damn. That's, <laughs> you need some excitement in your life, dude. That's, <laughs> that's cute, but you need better excitement. Well then now you're one of my favorite comments in a video, so. Verica said, you are my awkward alter ego. Everyone loves a quirk who makes different voices when having a perfectly normal conversation. Not everyone. N not everyone. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm a f this is me and it's who I am and I make weird voices and faces and just deal with it. Otherwise you can leave. <laughs> Don't leave, love me. That is it for me. Leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll see you guys next time.